Do you have to see any of them? No, that's fine on this one. Cool. The camera's rolling. Yeah, uh, actually, we'll turn on the light because we haven't got a power point. It's not actually very bright in it. Not in your face. Let's get back and turn the light on for this one. You can see now. That does actually hurt. That's better. It's like a blinding. How was he? Alright, um, my presentation obviously is on standing waves. Um, M nodes and anti nodes. Stand waves occur between two fixed points. Obviously, this is a relation. It can be anything from wall to wall, can be from two fixed points on a guitar string, so from either end. And then you've got, obviously, on a guitar string, it's stressed. Any string instrument, obviously, obviously violin, anything string, that, that'll um, give you the two fixed points, and in between, you'd have the nodes and obviously anti nodes and nodes. Um, also, we were discussing how nodes occur and anti nodes relating to anti nodes to change of frequency as it resonates. Um, and then, right, I'm just going on the board, right? Can you all see the board then? Is that a yes? Yeah. Right. Um, right, here we go. Right, demonstration I'm going to be showing you later on, but I'll explain it now, right? It's got two fixed points there. So, see, that's there. I'm not very good at drawing. Right, and that's a string. Right, so you've got the two fixed points there and there. That will give you the nodes, right? Either end, can you all see it? Right, and then you've got once the um, frequency is increased by the motor, which is in this demonstration, is it, as it slowly rises, it begins, the string will begin to resonate, so it'll be going to go around like that and around like that, and then at the the fixed point there, like them points there, that'll be like the first, well that's basically what I've just drawn is the first harmonic, which will be, which is consists of, right there we go, see I've got it written down. So when the frequency of an oscillator has increased at a slow rate, the string as shown on the video will resonate at certain frequencies. The first harmonic of the string, also known as the fundamental mode, begins to show at around 25 seconds in this video. It'll start to resonate, so the string obviously vibrating, that gives you the first harmonic there. And then, if that's at a certain frequency, so say it was at 10 hertz or whatever, that made it give it the fundamental um, of the first harmonic. Um, say that was at 10 hertz. To give the second harmonic, which would be, so there's your two fixed points again. It would go, um, so you should draw this way, it would be there. So you've got the fixed point there and there, there with us. So obviously that's the string resonating between the two there and there. And then that fixed point, um, so as well the um, anti nodes. Um, next one. And you've got the, all right, so just basically what I was going over to, make more sense. The first harmonic consists of one whole oscillation, with the anti-node being at the very centre of the oscillation and the node being at the two fixed points at either end. Just being that. Some would argue that because of the frequency causing the resonation at such a slow rate that the point of the oscillation may be classed as a node. But I was reading about some an argument on the internet that because it's such a slow rate and increase in frequency that because of the oscillation that in the fixed point right in the obviously equal distance between the two lengths, that there and there would be classed as an anti node but oh, I don't know, there's just loads of different mad arguments against that. But there, uh, so as you'll see in the figure I'm going to put on for you, as the frequency is increased, the string will resonate more and this showing you the second, third, fourth, fifth harmonic, etc. Right, for example. <laughs> I'd be honest to find this. Just right. over there. Right, where's my pen on that? Genius. I could never be a teacher on me, like, right, there we go. So there's the two fixed points again. Right, and then in the video, obviously, as the frequencies keep going and going, so it, as it's doubling, so see it was at 30 hertz, so it should be the third one, so that would be one, two, three, and then you go. 
And then there's the two antagonals there, and then the length is there to there. So that's up using string around the end, so that'll be the third. Fourth, double again. So you've got, obviously, two fixed points again, which is your nodes, and then you've got it again, so we want to three, 